Welcome back. It's been more than a week since Hurricane Ian devastated parts of Florida, and residents are still picking up the pieces as they will be for a long time. Officials are also reporting that the death toll has been revised going down now to at least 117 lives lost in Florida. And that suggests a silver lining in this awful tragedy. Thousands of residents have been rescued and brought to safety, both by first responders and by local heroes. And that's where our next guest comes in. Captain Mike and his trusty friend Matt rescued more than 100 Floridians, 100 Floridians stranded on hard-hit Sanibel Island, including a man named Bob. I want to show you a bit of that emotional rescue. Take a look. Bob is 85 years old. Um, he's lived in this house for, for a long time. His, his wife passed away here. He was stuck in the house and we came and found him. Um, and we're getting Bob out here and we're going to get him to safety. We're loading up all his belongings on the boat now. All hands on deck and we're going to get him back to a nice safe place with some AC and a nice hot meal for you, Bob. How's that sound? And a bath. And a bath. And a bath. All right, buddy. Let's, let's get you out of here, man. Hot meal in a bath, that's great. Uh, Captain Mike Friedhofer, founder and owner of Epic Airboard, Airboat Tours, joins us now. Uh, Mike, thanks for joining us, but more important, thanks for what, what you were doing out there. How, how did that go down? Did you ride the hurricane out and then, and then go looking for, for neighbors? Tell us about that. So, yeah, actually, I was a couple hours south of where the hurricane hit. I live in the Davie area, uh, a couple hours south of Sanibel and Fort Myers. And uh, one of my neighbors down here who also had a house on the island, Eddie, he called me desperately right after the storm. With, with uh, there, I got a call from, you know, quite a few different people looking for aid. Eddie sounded the most desperate, and he was in, in direct contact with some of the neighbors that needed to get off the island. Um, we loaded up the boat immediately, me and, me and my best friend Matt, and we headed straight down there and found a route to get to the island from the boat ramp and just immediately, you know, started taking people back, back from the island. That's great. That's, that's just great work. And, and let me ask you about Bob. How, how did you find Bob? How were you led to Bob? And, and what does that rescue mean to you? What do they all mean to you? So they all, every one of them was incredible. But Bob was, you could see in the video, I got super emotional with Bob. Um, we were actually riding the streets on bikes that we found and came across Bob, like right in front of his house. And he didn't want he didn't want to leave the house. His wife had passed away recently. Um, he said, I'm not leaving. So it took a little bit of convincing and it was super emotional, you know, having him pack all of his all of his belongings from forever. He's been in that house for many years. Um, and most of it was destroyed. But once we got him off, he was like my special case. I got back to the ramp and all the guys from Lee County. I mean, there was so many hands on deck, especially here from South Florida. I was just such a tiny piece of everything that happened. There was other airboat tour companies, the Broward County Airboat Association. So many people jumped in to help um, like immediately. It's just great to see our community down here jump in and when we're in need. It really is. And well, what advantage do you have with the airboat? Was that something that, that allowed you to get into tight spaces and flooded areas better? So, yes, yes, we were able to get around on the island to places where, you know, there was cars floating in canals. There was a lot of debris. There was things that uh, outboard motors would have a harder time to get around. Um, as the days went on, it was easier for the outboard motors to come out and help. But immediately the airboat was the best way to get out there. That's great. And, and how's Bob doing, by the way? What, do you know where he is now? So we're in, this is going to be a, a real happy ending story. Uh, we're in contact now with Bob's daughter. We know that he made it to his family up in Springfield. And uh, if you guys stay tuned and follow me, you'll, you'll see Bob and hopefully we, we reunite together. And it was, it was an awesome, awesome story with him. That's great. We, we will follow you. And I just, want, I just want to say, you know, having covered a lot of hurricanes, you do see it brings out the best in people, when, in people in the community and from beyond. And as a South Florida native, what does it mean to you to make this kind of a difference in your community? I mean, I felt an obligation to, to go out there and do that. I had the equipment and, you know, my buddy was willing to come with me and I just, I felt that we had to go do it. And so did all the other tour companies down here. Bill Ferris with Cypress Outdoors, um, but too many people to name, Alex Pomerada, Scott Bednar. There was a million people that that just jumped in, but it meant the same thing to all of us. We got to jump in and help our community. Um, and it was awesome. All right, well, Captain Mike, what's the best way to follow you? Instagram, uh, TikTok, Twitter, Snap, what's the best way to follow you? 
So Instagram, I'm Epic Airbo Tours. Uh, right. TikTok, I'm Epic Airbo Tours as well. All right, we'll look for that and follow you. And, and Bob, and thank you again for, for all that you've done. Thanks for joining us as well. My pleasure. Thank you, Terry. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.